WayneTripleBeard.com, and we are hanging out with Judith O'Day. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited! Um, so, of course, uh, everyone would know you as uh, Barbara from Night of the Living Dead. And, I'm on it. Uh, and uh, I almost don't even know what to say. I'm sort of uh, at a loss for words to be able to sit here with you because you're so beautiful. Well, then I'll interview you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how did you get involved in, uh, in Night? I mean, it's such a legendary film. Uh, you've heard the old adage, who you know makes a difference. It really, really does in that um, I had done work with Carl Hardman, Marilyn Eastman. We did a lot of television and radio voiceover. Carl had a studio called Hardman Associates. I went out to California to make it big in Hollywood. Ah. Shortly after I got there, Carl said, George Romero, Russ Streiner, Jack, we're going to make a movie. Do you want to come back and audition? That's what I did. I left Hollywood, flew back to Pittsburgh, auditioned, and the rest is history. Absolutely. I mean, we, I mean, there are so many amazing things about this movie, and one liner is that, like, we're coming to get you, Barbara. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's been used in I don't know how many movies as an homage to your acting and that film in general. Um, like we've even used it in a, a thing we made. We made a little fake uh, comedy zombie thing for our website and we used that line when someone was calling me and I was like, wait, what? So, um, but yeah, like uh, when, when it comes to uh, the actual filming, what was that like? Uh, like, what was the, like the, the process, how long did it take to film that movie? For everybody, the time was different, depending upon your role. I shot steadily for about two weeks, then came back almost two months later to do some pickups, which is interesting. We filmed in the summer. I came back in the fall to do some pickup shots. We had to be very careful, though, not to get your breath in the air when it was cold. So I, we had hard. to be very careful about that. <laughs> Careful, don't breathe. Just That's act. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Say your line, but don't breathe. <laughs> you know, two for me, two weeks plus time in the case. Now, when it came to, uh, like, I mean, this spawned an entire, you know, genre. Amazing. Um, like, even uh, a few remakes. Uh, what did you think about the most recent remake that they did a few years ago? You mean the 1992 remake yes. of Night? Yes. I think for the time, 92 was when women were ripping those bras off, <laughs> putting on their fatigues. What Barbara did in that film was appropriate for the time, I believe. Therefore, I think the original stands on its own. It was done in 68. Uh, I think for 92, Pat Tolman did a great job in Barbara. Yeah, I, mean, I really enjoyed it, but I still have to say you're my favorite one. Um, now also, there are a couple of things online that have to do with this film, like, uh, are you aware of uh, Rift Tracks? Have you heard of those guys? No. So, they're uh, the people that did Mystery Science Theater 3000, and they switched over and started doing audio commentaries only, and one of the things they did was an audio commentary for Night of the Living Dead. Uh, I would recommend checking it out. You can find it online. It's it's really entertaining. Wait, tell me the name of that again. Rift Tracks. R I F F T R A X. Got it. Yeah, it's it's very entertaining. <laughs> they, they poke fun, you know, all lighthearted, you know, not intending to be like, oh, look at this movie, but it, it's great. Um, Good. But yeah, so what what have you been up to? I mean, like, uh, did after you did night, did you go back into the theater or like? Uh, oh yeah, lots of theater. A lot of comedy, lots of musicals, then um, serious. I've sort of run the gamut of theater, but I've also been making movies. I've done, if you've heard of Jason Cole, mm -hmm. Jason Cole, November Sun, October Moon, I've done Women's Studies for Lonnie Martin and his lovely wife Cindy, a thing called Serial Slayer. <laughs> But it, and there is a new movie that I'm keeping my fingers crossed that oh, really? it will come through. So we're can you we're give us any hints at all? Or? Absolutely not. Ah. Although I will say 
that it has to do with zombies. It's a storyline with which you are familiar. Ah. I think it's going to be interesting. Oh my god, you just blew my mind. I, don't, <laughs> I can't wait, I'm excited. Alright, well, um, thank you so very much. Actually, I'm going to give you another hug. It was a pleasure. Oh, you're all so jealous right now. Um, I will, uh, once again, it's Wayne from Trippier.com doing coverage at ZombieCon. So, uh, have a nice afternoon. Thank you. Triple Beer.com! <laughs> Triple Beer!